For Bitcoin futures, Bitcoin futures for me have an accumulation in the background. That's through here. Now, this was a bit of an unfortunate occurrence that had to be absorbed when it happened. It wasn't actually an intentional part of the accumulation, I don't think. I think the market would have continued trading through here. But the market had to contend with this issue as it occurred. And the accumulation just continued once it absorbed the weakness that occurred there. Now, price has broken out from the accumulation zone, come back, tested its strength, made a secondary attempt to break out, but it began to draw out supply. You can see down here the increased volume. It looked like it had eased here, and then volume increased again there. Last week, it looked like the volume, the supply, had reduced again, and that would leave it in a good place to push higher in response. But this week, it appears that supply has continued to be drawn out. Spread was relatively narrow again, considering the high volume, uh, which is the high supply that was probably being drawn out. That's selling pressure, supply. So the market is attempting to absorb that supply as it has done for five weeks. But five weeks for a consolidation pattern is getting a little bit long and suggests that the supply is ongoing. It's not going to go away at the moment. It can't be absorbed easily. When that happens, there's often a challenge to the sellers and that will usually come in some form of shakeout. Now, that may be a shakeout like this where the market rams down lower and threatens that the sellers are going to miss out on the current high prices and encourages them to sell. And then once the sellers are done, the market springs back pretty quickly and closes pretty much where it began. Or sometimes it will happen over a number of bars. Say it was two bars, it would look like this. That would be a shakeout, in this case, over two weeks. Or you'll get a really deep pullback like this, then you'll get an absorption bar like this, and then an attempt to push back up after the supply has been absorbed, and look more like that. So keep in mind that supply has been ongoing for five weeks now. In so keep in mind that price has been in consolidation mode for five weeks now in response to this up bar. And that may be a little bit long, longer than you would like. And supply appears to be even higher this week than it has for the previous month. So I think there's a fair chance you'll get a shakeout of some sort here or some sort of challenge to the sellers. And we'll mark it like this at the moment, but it may be over a bit more of an extended period of time. And that'll be determined on how much supply is drawn out when price does pull back more sharply, because that's going to threaten the sellers and encourage them to do their selling and get it done. So just beware of the shakeout in the near term if we continue to get ongoing supply drawn out in this market because something will happen for sure. And it's unlikely the market will just attempt to ram itself higher and absorb the supply as it goes. You see that sometimes, but that's generally not sustainable. If the market does that, it'll ram up and then it'll come down just as hard. And that's not normally a sustainable way of doing it. It does happen from time to time. And from time to time, it is sustainable, but it's usually not. Generally, what a market will do is shake out and then test for supply. And then if their supply is found to be low, it'll push higher and it'll be more sustainable.